Hi guys, back to the video. Uh, today I'm just gonna show you uh, all of our animals, literally all of them. The sheep, uh, chickens, boilers, and I will show you the surprise animal that was for the um, tractor that my brother and I made. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. <clears throat> so, uh, we used to have tons of turkeys. <sighs> Sorry if I sound weird. Um, but we sold most of them, so this is our only guy or gal. Uh, we're just going to let her grow up big, and then we're going to eat her for something. There's some chickens, the three piglets. They're doing good. And got some hens behind me. So, you walk back here. Well, that didn't run away. We're trying to hatch some eggs with this hen. See? We're trying to hatch some chicks. Uh, um, so we can get some more eggs. These guys are doing really well. Uh, and if you haven't seen already, we extended their coop so they could have way more room. So, that's the chicken coop, really. I'll just walk around to show you. Pig looks like they hide under the trees, dig, <clears throat> do stuff under there. This is where they like to go under the shade or pick off some mulberry leaves. Are you trying to attack me? Watch. They love these mulberry leaves and what they like about it too is <clears throat> excuse me uh, these once they produce these mulberries they fall down and then they eat them <clears throat> which they love and there's a little baby pine tree. So we'll just walk up here and it looks like they broke down a branch. They ate off all the leaves. It's really hot. Out. It's been really hot around here the last time. Oh, he's trying to attack me. He's running at my legs. We better get out of here before he does attack me. We gotta walk backwards. Just like... Gosh, you meanie. He's trying to attack me. Let's run. Okay, we got out. I'll go into the big animal fence. It's this way. Walk around here. So, there's all the watering troughs. Uh, we moved that used to be right here, but we moved it. There was tons of young Andre. And mm -mm. we used to feed our sheep and cows uh, pumpkins. Like, after it was Halloween, we'd go pick up pumpkins on the side of the curb. And they, uh, well, now they've sprouted, which is really good and healthy and stuff. So we're going to try and grow them and get the pumpkins from them and start it again. This is the feeding trough. They got some new hay bales. That is their uh, kind of shed. Got a pile of hay from when the hay fell down. The sheep, um, uh, they like to come up here sometimes, put their hoofs on the fence, get some of this when they're in the fence. They like to climb on these, and they like just to eat all these hay bales. So that's really it in here I can show you around here. And uh, now that the cows are gone, we're actually starting to get some grass in here. Nice, small, tender grass for them. It smells really bad in there. You guys can smell it. Yuck. Big pumpkin. So that's really it in here, but uh, I'm going to go uh, show you the boilers. We'll get that right here. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, this is another big hay bale. The one hen likes to lay her eggs down there, so we have to collect that maybe once. And 
couple of days. Walk down here, show you some other stuff. Ooh, dandelion. Ooh, look at all the weeds that are growing right here. Look at that. It's nice. So we can just jump the fence. So, we move the boilers to a new fence. This is their new fence. So, none of died so far and it's out here so we tie up our dogs there there and behind there so no predators get them and they've done a really good job I don't remember how old they are now all I know is they're really clean good size everything none of them are bloody yeah they're really good um now I'm going to show you the mystery animal that you, uh, you guys have been trying to guess in the comments of my last video, I think. Yeah. Um, so there's nothing really else in here. It's just a little sheep shed, but we gave it to them. At night we uh, put them in there while they lock themselves and we tie up the dogs so they protect them. Which is actually working really well. They're doing really good. Let me see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I think we have fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah, guys, we have fifteen boilers. Now, I'm going to show you the mystery animal. And I'm going to show you the finished uh, tractor that we built for it. So I'm just walking up. There's a trampoline. There's the whole uh, sheep fence, and we might be getting our, some, uh, cow, our cows back. So this is really sad. We, a guy bought them from us. I won't say his name. Uh, he bought them from us. Well, he, he took them because he was a good friend of ours, and then he hasn't paid us yet, but he's had them for almost a month, but he hasn't paid us. So we're trying to bring it up to him and say, uh, gonna pay us or we're gonna take the cows back and he hasn't been feeding them right he's just not doing anything right so this is the tractor or um it's a mobile coop for them we use zip ties to finish it up there's gonna be some piddly things that need finished the door is really nice gotta make a lock mechanism so far it's really good well Okay, I'm going to show you the animal. Okay, I'm just going to hold you guys down so you can't see it. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. So, guys, we are going to start raising meat rabbits and pet rabbits to sell. So, these... Uh, we don't know what kind they are. If you do, comment down below. We got them for free from a person in Lincoln. Uh, we're just going to breed them and then sell them as pets. And we're going to try and get continental rabbits or Flemish giants uh, to uh, breed and for meat. If you know someone or you have Flemish giants or continentals, uh, comment down below if you're selling any. Because I'm looking for some. I've been looking on Facebook. Craigslist, but so this is cinnamon. That is angel. This is not. This is temporarily in here until we move the uh, rabbit tractor and to some woodland, to some uh, foresty stuff, so I, they can eat. Um, and we're gonna try and raise them with no grain. No pelletized food, nothing, just plants. That's fine. And by the way, um, so we've been letting our sheep free range literally every day. And look, so they like to hide out in the barn when it's really hot. And a lamb was born maybe five, six days ago, which we thought we were all done with 10, but now we have 11. So they all like to hide out in here. Let's see if I can show you a better picture. So now you know we're going to what the mystery animal is. It's a rabbit. It's 
I'm really excited about. I love rabbits. Here's the sheep. It's like they all like hiding in here. Nice mama. You a good girl? No. That's the lamb that was just born. It's my lamb. I have a collar on it. I'm trying to tame it. And so I can keep track of it. Excuse me. Uh, so that's uh, all what I really have. Let me think what else I can show you. Um, well, if you guys like the video, uh, like, subscribe, turn on notifications if you haven't already. Share my YouTube channel, please. I'm trying to hit 60 subscribers. So, yeah, please subscribe or share.